Hello everyone, welcome to you learn education online channel. In the previous video we have seen the AM transmitter block diagram and also we have seen what are the blocks involved in order to transmit the amplitude modulated wave through the wireless medium. Okay, and also we have seen with the use of power amplifiers we can increase the strength of the incoming signal or strength of a transmitter signal. And also we have seen what are the types of power amplifiers that are used and why we should not use the class C power amplifier in the AM transmitter and what is the drawback of using it. Okay, in today's video we are going to see how the AM transmitters are classified, nothing but the classification of AM transmitters. Here, these AM transmitters are classified depending upon the power level at which the modulation takes place. So here these AM transmitters are classified into two types. One is the high level modulation AM transmitter and second one is the low level modulation AM transmitter. Now what do you mean by high level modulation and low level modulation? Here high level modulation AM transmitter means the power level at which the modulation takes place is high. We are calling it as a high level AM modulation transmitter. Okay. Similarly, the low level modulation AM transmitter is the power level at which the modulation takes place is low. We are calling it as a low level modulation AM transmitter. Now, let us see what are the blocks involved in order to perform the high power modulation and the low power modulation. So, this is the block diagram of high level modulation AM transmitter and the low level modulation AM transmitter. If you clearly observe in this both blocks that is in the high level modulation AM transmitter block and the low level modulation AM transmitter block up to the class C RF power amplifier that is modulator the blocks involved here are same. But after the modulator in the high level modulation we are using a class C RF output amplifier whereas in the low level modulation we are using a class B RF linear power amplifier. Okay, Why we are using this we are going to see now. So here let us see what is the purpose of each block. The stabilized RF crystal oscillator buffer amplifier that is class A type and also the subsequent class C RF power amplifier that is modulator are common for both high level modulation AM transmitter and the low level modulation AM transmitter. Here this stabilized RF crystal oscillator is used in order to produce a constant frequency irrespective of changes in either a power supply voltages or a temperature of the components that are involved in the circuit and also it has to produce a stable high frequency signal in order to perform the modulation okay and here the buffer amplifiers we are using of type class A because in the class A there is no distortion present that's why we are using a class A RF buffer amplifier so to the modulator one input the stabi stabilized or stable high frequency carrier signal is applied. So to the other input we have to apply the message signal. Okay. So here the message signal we have to apply with the high power or a high strength distortionless or no information loss message signal should be applied to the modulator. That's why this information source or a message signal will be generated from the information source. Thereafter it is converted to electrical signal by using a transducer. Thereafter this generated or produced electrical message signal is passed through multiple stages of class B power amplifier in order to obtain a distortionless with minimum power to the signal or a high strength to the signal. Thereafter it is applied to the modulator. Now what the modulator will do? It simply superimpose the message signal with the generated carrier signal with a type of amplitude modulator and hence the output of a modulator is an amplitude modulated wave. 
so at this point we are obtaining an amplitude modulated wave thereafter here in high level modulation this is again passed through a class c rf output amplifier why because in order to boost up the signal strength or or the power of the modulated signal we have to use a high efficiency amplifier so in order to obtain the high power to the signal we have to use a high, high efficiency amplifier that is a class c power amplifier that's why it is used so because of using a class c rf output amplifier at the output of class c modulator circuit we will obtain the high power modulator signal okay so whereas in low level modulation we are using a class b linear power amplifier okay as we know that the efficiency compared to class c this class b will be less since the class b efficiency is less the power added to or the output of a modulated signal is low why because the efficiency of class b is less compared to class c in this way it will generate a low power signal by using a linear power amplifier in the low level modulation am transmitter whereas with the use of a high efficiency or high power class c power amplifier a high power signal will be generated or will be transmitted through the transmitting antenna in the high level modulation am transmitter now let us see a comparison between the high level modulation am transmitter and the low level modulation am transmitter so if you compare these two now what first parameter we have to compare is the power level so as we know that in the low level am transmitter the modulation is done with low power level whereas in the high level am transmitter the modulation will be done at high power level and the amplifier stages so since uh, it uh, is amplifying with a low power level it needs a less amplifier stages whereas in the high power level am transmitter we have to generate a high power signal that's why it needs multiple number of amplifier stages and the third parameter is the power efficiency this power efficiency is calculated after the generation of am modulated wave that is after modulation this linear amplifier is used in order to generate a low level power signal since this gives the lower power efficiency whereas in the high level transmitter we are using a class c power amplifier or a non linear amplifier is used which gives a higher power efficiency power losses so in the low level transmitter more amount of power will be lost whereas in the high level transmitter less amount of power will be lost and last one is the applications this low level am transmitter is used in the broadcast transmitters whereas the high level am transmitter is used in the tv transmitters okay this is the comparison and also if you see in the block diagram we are using a matching network then why we have to use this matching network so at the output of and power amplifier we are generating in the high level modulation the high power modulated signal whereas in low level modulation we are having a low power modulated signal then why we need a matching network so in order to transfer the maximum power to the transmitting antenna we need a matching network and here this matching network uses the tank circuit okay so for the tank circuit we have to kept the quality factor as low as such a way that it has to pass all the sideband signals without amplitude and frequency distortion but at the same time it has to provide sufficient attenuation of second harmonic of carrier frequency if it is going to pass this is the purpose of using matching network okay thank you so much for watching our videos please subscribe to our channel and keep supporting